Since the year 2000, gym membership in Ireland has flourished. It seems everybody wants to be fit. But there is one group who take the pursuit of physical perfection to extremes. The bodybuilders. We get a glimpse inside the world of 34-year-old Sophia McNamara, mother of two and part-time nurse. Today she is competing in the 2009 Classic Bodybuilding Championships in her hometown, Limerick. I'm sure when I go in this morning, we'll all be hi, and you know, there'll be no bitching <laughs> backstage. We meet Inga Benare, a 26-year-old barber from Latvia. She came to live in Ireland five years ago. Inga is here to defend the body fitness title, but this year the competition is even tougher. Sometimes I said to the few guys that I'm a bodybuilder, they just look at me and they laughed into my face. And we follow Mick Bullman, president of the Republic of Ireland Bodybuilding Federation. He is the main organizer and master of ceremonies for one of the biggest days in the Irish bodybuilding calendar. Do you know the old saying, Murphy's Law? My opinion is Murphy was an optimist. The Republic of Ireland Bodybuilding Federation holds two major events every year. The Spring Classic Championship is being held in the Millennium Theatre Limerick. There are four categories for the men and two for the women. The day starts early, 6.30. Inga and her boyfriend Barry are staying in a hotel suite close to the venue. Today Inga is competing for the fitness title. It is the more athletic of the two female categories. She will be judged on athletic appearance, muscle tone, and overall presentation, right down to hair and makeup. Her regime starts as soon as she wakes up. So I start my day with uh, porridge, egg whites, and I take my amiga acids. It is no taste in this food, but uh, because I'm on my, my diet for so long, I think it's, it's gorgeous. <laughs> Sophia is competing in the more traditional physique bodybuilding category. Sophia inherited the genetics required to compete at this level from her mother Angie, who was an Irish bodybuilding champion. Just going 22, 7. My first thought this morning is, oh my God, what am I doing? I have to hold it to face now. Nervous, excited, look forward to it. I'm glad when it's over. Both Sophia and Inga follow similar training regimes, each intensify in the three months leading up to the competition, but with Sophia concentrating more than Inga on heavyweight training. They both have a high carbohydrate and protein rich diet. The diet is, is very hard because you're eating seven or eight like meals equivalent to dinners a day. So it's getting the food into us is desperate and then repeating the same food day in day out is just it's awful. It's 7.45. Mick arrives at the venue. His day is divided into two parts. The morning is intense judging of the competition and the evening has more of an entertainment theme. There's a little bit of stress, you know, when you're organising a competition like this that you're trying to make sure that everything is right. And no matter how big the competition is or how small the competition is, the stress levels are exactly the same. You don't have to have it up very high, you know? Yeah. Okay. Yes. At the moment now, the lads are doing the lighting for their competitors on the stage, and this will be the final check that we'll do on that. Well, the judges are going to be sitting along here. We'll have five judges sitting in the centre here. Um, I'll be checking that later on to make sure that they have a good view. And the head judge will sit separately from everybody else. And his job then is to make sure that the judges are paying attention and make sure that the scores are right. Like Sophia, Inga keeps water intake to a minimum in the hours leading up to a competition. This will remove fluid buildup from under the skin, making the muscles look more defined. This is one of the key factors the judges are looking for. At the moment, I'm thirsty and I'm tired because uh, I stopped drinking uh, water at 6 o'clock in the evening last night. 
even this morning I could see the difference that my 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 skin getting thinner and you know the shape getting better so it's good it's good At 8.30, the first competitors arrive for registration. <laughs> well, you're not the first Egyptian to compete in the Irish Championships anyway, you know. Mohamed, what's your last name? I double S. I double S? Yeah, A-H. A-H. Oh, yeah. No, I'll just, it's my age, you know. All right. <laughs> Cheers, thanks very much. With today's event being held at the Millennium Theatre, Mick is proud that bodybuilding in Ireland has come a long way since its humble beginnings. I went to a bodybuilding competition that my brother was competing in. Oh, that was back in 1978, I think it was. And it, it was in the back lounge of a pub. I thought it was a shame to see them in there. They needed something better than that to show what, uh, what they can do, you know. So I then decided to um, organise a totally bodybuilding competition. And it, it actually went very well. We held it in the, the old Savoy Cinema. And it, it, it went very well for us. And just people decided, you know, this was the way to go. Since then, the Republic of Ireland Bodybuilding Federation has gone from strength to strength. I often think myself that if these guys were a different type of athlete, you know, they'd be highly recognised in their country. For instance, in, in places like Egypt, when somebody does well in bodybuilding in the World Championships, they're treated like heroes. Back in Latvia, when Inga's parents heard she was going to be a bodybuilder, they were not impressed. Uh, they didn't like it, and uh, it was even a few arguments involved. But I didn't care, and I said, listen, I don't care, uh, you know, what, what, what you're thinking. I'm going to do my thing, and that's, that, that's what makes me happy. And I think it's better than drinking, and this is my hobby, and I'm going to do this anyway. But Sophia, coming from a long line of bodybuilders, had nothing but support from her family and friends. When we started training together, a couple of years ago, she was um, in, in great shape for someone who ate normal, didn't train too serious or anything. It's really in the last three months she's focused on the diet and started training anywhere properly at all. And she's come on a huge amount in three months, you know, so genetically she has it. For me, it was just a hobby, something I picked up while the kids were at school. You know, some people do singing, some people do dancing, piano lessons, <clears throat> sewing, something. And I just, it was just something that I did. I love it. I absolutely love it. If I never did a show, I'd still be in there training with weights because I love it. I just love training with weights. I enjoy it. My boyfriend surprised me today and he gave me this. I got this from him. This. And I got a card, good luck card as well. I want to wish you good luck to you today and always love forever, Barry. That's great. Really, really nice. Very thoughtful. He's happy what I'm doing, um, but it's it takes long. It took a long time for him to understand what exactly what I'm doing, because before he thought I'm gonna end up very big and huge, and he he didn't want that. But when he saw me on the stage last year, he was like, "Wow, I'm really proud of you, baby." <laughs> I've only known her since she started doing bodybuilding competitions anyway, so to me, it's normal. The dieting and all is hard. When you can't go out for nice meals, like go out for a drink, like, or you have to be in bed by 10 o'clock each night, like, and I'm a night owl, like, so going to bed at 10 o'clock doesn't really suit me, but you get used to it, you know? And it is only the last two months that are more extreme, you know? For the rest of the year, even though she's still training and on a healthy regime, it's only the last two months, really, before competition that you can't eat what you want or drink what you want, like, so it's not bad. Eight weeks. It's 9.30 in the morning, <laughs> and Inga is having her second meal of the day, a steak dinner cooked by her friend, Yolanda. Makeup looks very well. Mm? Makeup looks very well. Mm, Looking forward now to put on my bikini and shoes. <laughs> and showing off a little bit. <laughs> It 
getting the tan right is absolutely crucial. Um, you know, if you haven't enough tan on, it's not going to show what you have. And if you have too much on and it's streaky, it's straight away people will comment on it. So the tan is very important, extremely important that you have a, your tan is, is looking well. It's the, the last thing, the main thing that you check yourself before you go on stage. I seem to be the, the resident tanner around here in Limerick. I've, I've tanned about seven or eight competitive bodybuilders at this stage, so second nature to me. I've tanned my father, who's also a competitive bodybuilder. I've tanned my sister's fiance, who's a competitive bodybuilder. And I've tanned most of my friends at this stage, so it's become second nature, I'm afraid, you know. Fal putting Fall's tan on sh freshly shaven men doesn't sound great, but it's what we do, you know. Like, it's really two weeks before the competition that you really start seeing the shape coming out like, and the colour makes such a difference. Like if you seen Inga White two months ago, you wouldn't even think she was doing any training or you wouldn't think anything, like you know, you wouldn't think she was in competitions or anything. Whereas now when you see the, the kind of the tone and the colour, you can really see the shape like, and it really looks well. I had a, I had a boob job done and uh, because when I was in school, uh, when I was a teenager, uh, I had a very big complex about not having any, any boobs. It obviously affects me so badly. Even at that age, I thought when I grow up, I'm going to have boob job done, no matter what. So I think I, it's, a, it's a great job. They did a great job, and I'm really delighted with that. And Barry's delighted as well. I'm happy, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Coming up in part two, will Sophia's nerves get the better of her? He's just fighting the daylights out of me. I just, it's horrible. Feeling is horrible. And things begin to get competitive for Ringa. We're just getting the girls ready to come up. It's almost noon, and the 2009 Spring Classic Bodybuilding Championship is only moments away. Yes. Mick Bullman, Master of Ceremonies, is making final checks. Guys, if you're not actually helping somebody turn up, outside to the front. Okay, guys, just checking on the sound here with you. We're all good, right? we're all set. Uh, music. Know, just my, yeah. Where's your music? Sorry? Your music? I don't have it, sorry. <laughs> you don't have any music? Okay, just in numerical order now, let's. Good evening, ladies, or good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we're just about to start the um, pre judging for the novice category. Right, guys? The novice category is open to all ages, but only first-time competitors can enter. You have to balance out between, is the guy in a very good condition, see the separation of the muscle, and not on that does he have the right muscle size, you know, because the name of the game is bodybuilding, so good size muscle is very important. Mick instructs the competitors to go through their compulsory comparative poses. Back, double bicep. That's spread. Side, tricep. Even if the two guys were exactly alike, then you're working down onto what kind of tendons he have on. What is his conscious preparation? You look at the cosmetic side of it in that case. You even look to see if the trunks are clean. You're not clean in the sense that there's no tan gone under the trunks, have they shaved. You know, simple things like this. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes round one, pre-judging of the novice category. Thank you very much. All of course, for all. I think men like women with a, a good physique. They like muscular physiques also, but not... I don't think the type that you'd see in magazines and huge, big, huge women, because they're just... they're like... they're like men. I really believe that you can... you, you can definitely be feminine and muscular at the same time. You, you don't have to take it to the extremes. Um, for me, when I'm out, day to day in my normal clothes, just in my, my long sleeves and stuff. I just look like an ordinary, you know, an ordinary girl that just likes to, to, to look well. 
and in the gym I like to look muscular and sporty but I can leave it I leave it at the gym. and get some rice cakes in a minute. Rice cakes, yeah. I'm going to have some um, minced steak. I'll heat it up in the microwave. I have two cooked. So, so I'm a little bit weak today now because I'm trying to eat as little as possible today to stay as flat and dry as I can. A lot of people in this sport are cocky people. You know, they have great confidence. I mean, you have to get up stage and stand there and say, oh, look at me in front of all these people. And, um, you know, they put a lot of hard work into it and are entitled to that. But I, it just frightens them daylights out of me. I just, it's horrible. The feeling is horrible. Before you go on stage, it's, you're rattling, literally rattling. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to continue on with the junior category. When you go and come out, I'll give you four points at once. That means you just turn to your right each time I tell you. And just stand. The junior category is for the under-21 age group. Guys, go forward a bit. Flat spread. Back. Double bicep. Side chest. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the pre-judging of the junior category. Round of applause, please. Oh, God. I'm going to have my vegetables now. This is my last meal before I go. Okay, you ready? Let's yeah. go. I feel excited and full of energy. I'm a 34, my own age. Uh, this is the final coat of tan. So I'm just put the tissues all over my bikini. <laughs> Because I don't like, I don't want to leave any marks. Body and then as you understand, it's just using the roller then to basically smooth out the tan. So it should eventually now should all be even under well. is so that each girl will be dressed identically the same so that the judges will be just judging the physique only and not any fancy costumes. The main challenger to Inga's crown is Russian Nicoletta Curin. She previously won seven consecutive titles but missed last year due to heart problems. But hoping to upset the odds are Irish girl Amy and Carolina from Poland. Game on. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to continue on now with the body fitness category, also known as the figure category. This is round one, where the girls will be dressed in black bikinis. Ladies, can you move forward, please? Okay. Okay. Amy, just come 
Back in here a bit more. Over here a bit more now. You just sent here to my left. Okay. Okay now. Okay, please face the judges. The judges are looking at the overall athletic appearance of their physique, muscle tone and presentation. And that includes hair and makeup. Water tone to your right again. Back to the judges. And water tone again. And face the judges again, please. She looks very well, yeah. Come here very well. Yeah. The time and all looks very good, like, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes round one. The girls will be back again very shortly for round two. Thank you. Best of girls. I was very nervous and uh, it was very frightening and it was just flying, time was flying. So now I have to go and change my swimwear very, very quickly. I think one girl is more physique, in my, in my opinion. Whereas the three of them, yeah, three of them were very close. But I still think Inga was the best out of the whole lot of them. It's time for Sophia to go to the venue. My man will definitely be there today. It's exciting for her also to see her daughter, her child, to do this today because she herself is a former Miss Ireland bodybuilder. I'm sure she's totally shocked. She, she said she'd never thought she'd see either of her daughters do anything like this. It's the rain. It rains every show. Through my makeup and my tan. Hello. Uh. Am I doing the Irish girl in it, Mick? But you're doing the Irish girl in your competition. But you're doing the girl in your competition. Oh, so am I? Yeah. Am I by myself? Yeah. Oh, sugar. Not to worry. I won't, I won't. I'll do my best. Listen. Would you train for it? That's it. it is, it is, definitely. definitely. There's no yeah. point in going back now, no, no. you know, when I've reached a further point. Man, I'm looking good, we'll see. <laughs> Thank you. Coming up in part three. Apparently, so far, I'm the only one for physique. So, um, looks like I'll be posing alone on stage. If so, it's going to be very embarrassing for me. Inga is feeling the ill effects of the bodybuilder's regime. Uh, you okay? The classic category of the 2009 Spring Bodybuilding Championship is about to get started. It's aimed at men who prefer a less muscular yet athletic and aesthetically pleasing physique. Side, chest. Meanwhile, Sophia's mom Angie and her Aunt Mary have arrived. Back, double bicep. Okay, gentlemen, front double bicep. Abs and thigh. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes pre-judging in the classic competition. Thank you, gentlemen. Feel good now, just getting the last preps done. The glass, the glamour of the ten. <laughs> Feeling all um, sentimental, emotional, knowing that uh, my niece is coming out there where her mother used to be, and knowing that if she's any bit like her mum, she'd be number one. Thank you. Just waiting to go out, so I bet it's probably even more. This is 
this. Female physique category. Now, um, unfortunately, we have just one competitor. Onto the waist spot. Front, double bicep. Side, chest. Good girl. Back, double bicep. Be tight, Olo, come on. That's it. Good girl. Side, tricep. Abs and thigh. Shoulders, legs, oh, come on. That's it. That's it. Keep those legs tight now. That's it. Okay, relax. Run for applause, thank you. I enjoyed it, I have to say, I still enjoyed it. <laughs> I'm really glad it's over, it's after breaking my nerves for me now. Totally, yeah. Very emotional altogether, you know. I just thought back to when I was up there and the feeling that I had when I was on stage. And I said, she must be feeling that today, you know. We'll give them time to get ready again. You know, to put on the makeup, but adjust about whatever they need, and they'll be up with the one piece swimsuit, which is a bit fancy. In this round, Inga will again be judged on physique, but with more emphasis on the overall presentation, including her costume. Okay, ladies, face the judges. Water tongue to your right, please. Water tongue to your right again, please. Turn right. And turn right and face the judges. Ladies and gentlemen, that completes round two in the body fitness category. Thank you. I feel much, much better now, and because maybe because first round was uh, my bikini, I wasn't kind of, I wasn't happy with bikini. I didn't feel com comfortable with, with my bikini, which is with this one, I look much com confident and comfortable, and on the stage, I think it was great. I don't know, I don't want to say that I'm a winner or somebody else a winner. No, I don't know. So I'll find out tonight. With a break in the competition, Inga escapes back to the hotel. I think I haven't kind of headaches now, so maybe just over, over... Hunger? No, no. <laughs> uh, just excitement, I guess, yeah, yeah. you know? Amy looked well, and the other girls that was there last year, she looked well as well, didn't she? I don't know, like, girl. that didn't see her. With judging completed, Inga decides to relax her diet. In the event of a dead heat following this morning's two rounds, the decision could come down to tonight's show. <laughs> but by eating a large meal, Inga is taking a big risk in more ways than one. I still have to be careful because when your body didn't get used to it, to take lots of fats, you know, it's too big shock for your body. So I can't. I have to do it slow because last year was 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 very really bad, wasn't it? I was just eating and I couldn't stop for weeks. For weeks till I got very sick. Yeah. I put two stone in two weeks. The first thing was the fact that my stomach and then the immune system ran down and I was very bad. Four, four months, four months take me to, to get over. So I hope I'll be fine this time because, you know, I learned, you learn from mistakes. Uh, 
You okay? I'm feeling very tired and I feel like I just want to eat a bit light down and have a rest. Yeah, yeah, it's been a long day. And can't wait for a break. Half over. <laughs> <laughs> Don't kiss me because I have my makeup on. Just getting up again now, so after having an hour's rest and uh, get cleaned up a bit, get my costume ready for later on, my bits of jewellery and redo my face, and just make sure I have everything organised for later and a little bit of food in my bag. Sophia practices her routine for tonight's performance, still undeterred that she is the only competitor in her category. I came in today and Mickey gave me my badge and that was it, there's nobody else for physique but me. It's an empty win, but at the same time you can go out on stage and do your posing and your routine and stuff without the, the worry of competition on the back of your mind. I love it, I'm totally enjoying it today I have to say. I've amazed myself even today, you know, I've totally contradicted myself, which is um, a big thing for me, I'm getting a lot out of it personally. It's a pure mental challenge for me. It's 5.45. The evening show is only minutes away. We start with the final round of the novice category. So, mate. Okay, guys. You have, about, you have about 10 minutes, okay? Just for everybody, let's best to look upstairs. Remember, the competition is not over yet. What you do out there in the wild can change any scores from this morning and take you anybody from second place to first place again. Okay. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the finals of the 2009 Spring Classic Championships. Can we have Mandigas Michelatus on stage. on stage, please? Thank you. Number two. Our next competitor, Garrett McClinchy. Our next competitor, number four, Derek O'Neill. Our fourth and final competitor in this category, number five, Edvinus Benevicius. And the winner, and the 2009 novice champion in the Spring Classic Championships, Garrett McGlinchey. Coming up in part four, will Sophia come unstuck? Put me the glue out of the bottle, so hope that stays where it's supposed to stay. And will Inga retain her crown? And the winner, and the 2009 Spring Classic Body Fitness Champion. The final round of the 2009 Spring Classic Bodybuilding Championship has started. And Sophia is running late. She's, every time there's a show and it rains. Every time. Heading down to LIT again for the second part of the show. Sophia's mother Angie is back with her 91-year-old granddad Christy. Can't wait to see her, you know, do her routine. Because she's been hiding it from all of us. She wouldn't show any of us her routine. We're going to have to come and see it on the day, she said. Modestus, your first out. Music. Continuing on with the junior category, our first competitor, Modestus Michaelitis. Darius 
Slatkowskas. Did I get that right? Our third and final competitor in the junior category, number 16, Mohamed Isa. The winner and the 2009 Spring Classic champion, Darius Slapkowskas. A few, for, a few poses there for the for our official photographer. I'm very tired and my tummy doesn't feel right. Shimmer off it, it's a nice gold colour off it, so she's gonna look good on stage, you know. Same thing, you know, we're just gonna go through the compulsory poses and then about a minute to pause them. After that, then we'll get the scores back, okay? Ready? Come on, it's a bit me, so. It's the final round of the classic category. Yeah, just, just there, right? David loves the stage, so I dread it, but David loves it. So I said I'd go out tonight, I might not want to come off at all, it's my first ever routine. Okay, gentlemen, thank you. Round of applause, please, for our classic bodybuilding competitors. Personally, myself, I hate the veins. Even shopping anything when I go out, I'm covered up because they're popping out like that, like even during the day. So I covered them up, um, but judges love to see the veins. Yeah. It's a sign of that you're really dry, you're really, your body fat's really low. My bikini blue didn't work, so I just keeps moving and it's totally annoying me. But you get glued to glue them onto you, like. And I couldn't get the glue out of the bottle, so I hope that stays where it's supposed to stay as well. <laughs> As Mick announces Magnus Tiernan the winner of the classic category, Sophia is about to go public with her dance routine. It's a really adrenaline rush, you know. Could be bad or, or, or are good, but it's definitely a mad adrenaline rush, yeah, it's, it's crazy feeling. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome on stage our female physique competitor, Sophie McNamara. Fast. Oh, I felt I was flying all over the place out there. Oh, perfect. Um, absolutely enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. Super, yeah. yeah. You've had the best response there. Yeah. yeah. Went bananas. Did you want it? Sometimes when you're on stage, you actually can't see the crowd, but I could see them, and they were saying, We're very proud of you, and they were shouting up at me, and um, it was wonderful because I was focused on them all the time. I could see directly where my family was. It was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And just to hear them, and fantastic. Yeah, totally fantastic. It was, um, it was amazing, amazing, totally. Yeah, it'd be a while before I come down off this high, I can tell you. <laughs> the fast movements was wonderful, wonderful. I knew she'd surprise me, but I didn't think it would be that good, you know. I'm really in awe. That's right, I am. I can't believe it. Well done. Well done, Sophia. Well done, Good girl. So proud of you, baby. So proud of you, baby. Okay, you're taking credit, Heidi. All right. I'm so proud of you. Mm. Mm. We're roasting. Good luck, aren't you? 
Ils sont encore depuis le Oui, on a It's the final round of fitness, and Inga's fate is in the hands of the judges. Will her big lunch come back to haunt her? I just had a little bit of honey, just to give me a little bit more energy, and uh, because I feel like I have a little bit of headache. It kind of warms you up a little bit, gives you some energy as well. Yeah, and your, your muscles kind of um, expand. I just, no, we just leave it. I just don't want to, I don't, I don't know how to explain this. We just leave it. <laughs> Hi girls. Just to let you know, we're almost ready for you above. There's about another 10, 15 minutes, so relax it. We'll be ready to go in a few minutes. Are you all feeling okay, yeah? Yeah. yeah. How are you feeling? Pressurized. Pressurized. It's a Thank tense job. <laughs> I'm sweating more than the bodybuilders up there, to be honest about it, you know. So um, you're only going to do the one round above. Okay? And I'll see you above. Best of luck to all of you, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Right? Take care. But before Inga's final round, it's time for one of the highlights of the show. A bodybuilding superstar has been flown in specially from the US. Can we have on stage, please? From Texas, Branch Warren. Preparation, it is. Yeah. Planning and preparation prevents piss poor performance. Good plan. Um, Barry, can you take more photographs, please? Got my hand on your ass, I just realised. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez, I need that. Okay, I'm going to get the girls up now, right? <laughs> Judges, walk to turn to your right. Turn right again, please. Walk to turn to your right. And face the judges. Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause for our contestants in the Body Fitness Contest. Well, they're going to just have a consultation about it, they can then just see, just basically come to the unanimous decision, they can be announced down at that stage. gentlemen we have a result in third place Amy Preston in second place Inga Binara the winner in the 2009 Spring Classic Body Fitness Champion Nicoletta Curran. Congratulations, guys. Well done. Thanks,
perfect at first push. Feeling very well. Feeling very well. Nicola, she is in fantastic shape. Yeah. It's no way I could beat her. <laughs> no, well done, well done. Thank you. Okay, Thank you. Yeah. 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 Well done and good luck to you uh, for the next competition. Thanks. I hope you do well. Okay. Okay.